everyone, I'm Marina. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here for a shop update preview. My preview will be this Friday, August 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time at pineappleyarn.com. I have some gorgeous tonals and colorways as well as a seasonal candle. So let's get started. The first colorway I'd like to share with you is a classic. It's called Honeycomb. This is one of my favorite colorways. I love this, actually, this tonal is so gorgeous. I love it so much that I knit the Beekeeper Cardigan by Marie Green, I think two or three years ago. And this is the colorway I used. So it is just a beautiful, warm, caramel tonal. It looks so good with so many different colors. Obviously it's a, a fall classic, but it looks really good paired with some of these neons. And so this colorway is called Beachy Keen. And I thought these two colors together would be such a gorgeous brioche pattern. And it looks really good just with, honestly, just with uh, to other tonals. So here it is with Coral Conch. Again, this would be a beautiful, um, it'd be a beautiful brioche or perhaps a color work pattern. This would be really pretty. So this is Honeycomb. The next yarn is the color Nutmeg. <laughs> it is a cousin of Honeycomb, except that it is darker. So I like to describe this as a chestnut brown with warm caramel undertones. This has many, many layers of dye. So you get that depth and just, it's just really gorgeous. And so here it is on my Noe mohair silk. So pretty. Let me hold the honeycomb up just so you can see the difference. Kind of tell that it's lighter. It just doesn't, the honeycomb has, is very golden. It doesn't have as much brown in it. So this is nutmeg. I really love nutmeg with uh, bubble gum. I think those play so well together. And if you want to go a little lighter and stay with the neutrals, I thought it was really pretty with oyster. So you have the warm and the cool kind of again, playing against each other. I thought this was really pretty. The final tonal that I will have this week is such a fan favorite. Uh, Y'all are always asking for this. And so I, I, I like to bring, it's a little darker, so I like to bring it in during the fall. And it is called Teal Wing. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. And it's not hard to see why y'all love it because it is really, really beautiful. This is, I like to think of it as a deep turquoise. It's not quite green and it's not quite blue. It's a really pretty in-between, which makes it a really versatile choice as well when you're trying to find yarns to coordinate with. So um, Electric Beach looks really gorgeous with it. It kind of matches these um, kind of deep turquoise uh, spots in the yarn. I love it with Ocean Motion. Ocean Motion has a very clear blue and clear green places. And so a color like Teal Wing really brings those two together. So these are really pretty together. I love this also with Hang 10. I like how uh, the Teal Wing matches some of these really punchy, almost like summery colors. I just think it's really, really pretty. So again, this is Teal Wing. It will be in the shop on Friday. And let me go ahead and tell you the bases uh, that the tonals will be on. Um, all of these tonals will be on four different bases. It will be my Lonnie Sock, Lonnie DK, Noe Mohair Silk, which is the fingering weight mohair silk that's great with pairing, you know, holding with another strand of yarn. And then it will be available, they'll all be available on a new base I'm so excited about. It is a, an extra fine merino um, royal alpaca and silk blend. 
and I didn't know this until I started doing a little research, but royal alpaca is actually softer than baby alpaca. So if you're a fan of super soft, super luxurious yarn, you would definitely have to check out this merino silk uh, alpaca blend. It's a fingering weight and it has just enough silk. So it has a bit of drape and a bit of sheen, but I still think it's, it's a small enough percentage where it still is very versatile. And so here is it, here it is dyed up on the honeycomb. And I don't know if you can tell um, in camera, but it is just, it has an amazing sheen. It is gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. So very excited about this new base. All right, I'm gonna move on from tonals. I will probably be pairing some of these tonals with the yarns I'm going to show you. Um, the first yarn I would like to share with you was a request and it is a really fun yarn. This one is called Highs and this is a very uniquely dyed yarn. It's one of my older colorways, but I keep dyeing it because it's just so much fun to knit. If you knit a pair of socks or a set of fingerless mitts from this yarn, it um, is self-striping in a way. And so you have these gorgeous, unexpected colors in a, a kind of um, stripe, I guess. And it just really results in an amazing, fun pattern. And so this is called Highs. It obviously is going to look great with Nutmeg, if you want to pair those two together. It looks great with honeycomb. And I also really like it with, if I can find it, it looks great with pale peach. And so that's another fun pairing. The next colorway I'd like to share with you is called Fortunately Pink. And this was an originally, this was originally with a knitting kit that I had and I received so many requests to dye this as a standalone skein, I had to comply. <laughs> so one thing I love about this yarn, obviously it's a gorgeous shade of pink, but one thing I really love about it is that it kind of, even though it has so many different tones in it and speckles, because everything is very tonal and within the same color family, it kind of acts as a tonal. So instead of a yarn being very color blocked like this one, um, this is just a really versatile colorway. And so I love it with Tropicalme. And let's see, let's find something that's a good contrast. Here's Hang 10. And again, these are just, they're very different, but they look great together. This is Pacific Dreams. And those are also so pretty. And let's pair it with some tonals. This is Oyster. So pretty with that medium toned gray. Here is Coral Conch. And I think it coordinates really well with Pale Peach and also Bubble Gum. Those two look really nice with it. So again, this is Fortunately Pink. It will be available on a slightly different basis than my tonals. And so uh, what I will have this on are four different bases. It will be available on a new Lonnie sock base, which is very, very similar to my, I guess, usual Lonnie sock base. It's the same blend. Um, the only difference is that the yardage is slightly smaller on the new Lonnie sock base. And so I think on the, you know, usual Lonnie sock base, it has 462 yards. This is actually 437 yards, if I'm remembering correctly. And so slightly less yardage, but essentially the same yarn and the feel and everything. So I, was, I am incredibly happy to have sourced yarn, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so this is uh, the new Lonnie sock base. I will also have it on 
my classic DK. And I used to dye this many years ago and use this base. And it is the squishiest, gorgeous DK. I love it. It, it just takes the dye beautifully. The speckles really pop on it. Um, it's very squishy, I love it. So this is classic DK. And then I also have it on my Noe Mohair Silk and the Extra Fine Merino Royal Alpaca and Silk Blend that I spoke of earlier. This is Papaya Playa. And it's a very punchy, orangey, yellow blend. This is so gorgeous, I love it so much. So one thing I love about it is that like Fortunately Pink, it's kind of a tonal, but not a tonal. It doesn't have any big chunks of color. So it's really beautiful for a shawl or a garment. And um, yeah, it's just, I really, really love this colorway. And it will be also on the four bases that I mentioned, the new Lonnie sock, the classic DK, the Noe Mohair Silk, and the Merino Alpaca Silk Blend. And of course I have to pair it with some colors. This is Coral Conch. And so you can definitely see the variegation of the Papaya Playa against a, a true tonal like Coral Conch. Here it is against Princess. Then I love it with colorways like Hang 10 or Pacific Dreams. Gorgeous. So again, Papaya Playa available on the four bases I mentioned. My next colorway is one of my personal favorites and I've had this for quite a while. This is called Mermaid Doll and it is a gorgeous blend of cornflower blue, bright greens and soft pinks with speckles. These are so gorgeous together, I love them. Here it is on the Noe Mohair Silk. So that's really fun to see that variegated mohair silk. These are really fun. If you ever, um, if you ever pick up one of these from me or from anyone else, these are really fun to pair with a tonal because you get that same pattern that would be in one of these skeins. So that's fun. You just get kind of a different effect. Here it is with Saturn. So that really brings out the greeny yellow colors in this. And let's see, I love it with bubble gum. So pretty. Really, really love those together. And let's pair it with Fortunately Pink. Oh yeah, those two are really pretty together. So again, that one is Mermaid Doll. It will be available on the previous four bases I mentioned. I want to share two more colorways with you. These are very autumnal. And so the first one is called Candy Corn. Now this one, I only bring this out in the fall, obviously. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous taupe base and it has speckles of olive green, neon yellow, and neon orange. So it just, it looks so beautiful paired with some more autumnal colors like nutmeg. But I also really love it with some of these punchier colors. So here's Saturn, it really brings out the yellow in that. Here it is next to Papaya Playa. I like these two together a lot. So it just kind of depends, you know, what you want to do with this colorway. It's neutral enough where it, it fits so many different colors. And I really like it. There's Pale Peach with it. That's really pretty. So yeah, I thought that was a really this is just such a fun colorway to dye up. And I thought I'd bring it back for fall. Now this colorway will be available on several different bases. Um, one base that I'm holding right now that I love 
is called Panda and it is a superwash merino wool and bamboo. And the bamboo really gives it a gorgeous sheen, gorgeous softness and an amazing drape. So this is really nice for shawls or a garment. So yeah, this is candy corn. It'll be available on Friday. The next colorway, and I think this is the final colorway I'd like to share with you, is called Tangerine Green. This is a brand new colorway. And I had so much fun dyeing this up. It looks so good, obviously, with some of these warmer autumn inspired shades. But one thing I really, really love about Tangerine Green is that it looks amazing with all of those summery colors as well. So here it is with Papaya Playa. These are gorgeous together. And let's see what else I have. This one I pulled from my yarn. This is Shrimp Cocktail. And this has a lot of grays in it and different colors, but it also looks really, really good with this. It has those kind of warm neon coral tones. So I just, I love this colorway so much. I can't even tell you. Here it is on the classic DK base. So this is so vibrant and beautiful. Here it is on the Noe Mohair Silk, which is just gorgeous. It's really, really beautiful. So yeah, I love this because you can pair it with an autumnal colorway if you really wanna go into autumn and have it more of an autumnal garment. I love it if you have in your wardrobe some of those, um, you know, warmer, fall, you know, typical fall colors, but I also like it with um, summery colors too. It just is a beautiful bridge between seasons. And so, yeah, this is tangerine green. It's such a fun colorway. I wanted to show it to you on the Merino Baby Alpaca Silk. It's just, um, it's this, definitely the same colors, but it's um, slightly more muted because of the silk content. And I think it gives it, uh, it just really accentuates the sheen in the yarn, as well as kind of gives it a different look, which I really like, it's so pretty. I really like this one paired with um, Honeycomb as well. Those two are really pretty. So anyway, Tangerine Dream, my new colorway, or Tangerine Green, it is my dream. I love it so much. <laughs> I hope y'all love it too. So after dyeing all of these gorgeous autumnal colors, I couldn't help but pour my favorite autumnal scent, which is sweater weather. And it is a cozy and comforting blend of cinnamon, ginger, apples. Um, it just, it reminds me of fall baking or you know, the leaves changing. It is such an amazing blend. And this hands down is my favorite autumnal scent of all times. <laughs> it's really, really gorgeous. So if you're in the market for a beautiful fall scent, definitely check this out. It's called Sweater Weather, the season that all knitters look forward to. <laughs> I can't even believe I nearly forgot to show you the fiber I dyed up this week. <laughs> Here it is. I dyed up an amazing batch of Midnight Garden on so many different fibers. It is a gorgeous lavender base, but then it has pops of greens and yellows and blues. It is a beautiful fiber to spin. I'm so excited I'll be offering this on several different fibers, including Polworth, Southdown, Coradale, my special blend, which is a Merino Baby Alpaca and Hollow Glitter. And yeah, this is such a fun colorway. Um, I love these pops of color here and there, but the lavender base is just, it's so gorgeous. 
I will also have it available on another of my special bases. Um, this base is a Tweety type base. So it is gorgeous for autumn. It's perfect for autumn. And it is a Cheviot and Sari Silk, like a recycled Sari Silk Tweed. So not only do you get the base of a color, but you also get speckles and then you also get the actual color of the Sari Silk itself. So this is just an amazing blend. I am in love with this. This would be beautiful for fall. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. And then here it is also, this is what it will look like on most of the bases. But I wanted to show you this base because it's just, it's just an amazing base. I love it. I've already spun some of this up. It's so, so fun to spin. So yeah, Midnight Garden available in the shop. Well, that is it for me this week. Thank you so much for joining me to look at all the beautiful yarn and candles and fiber. Uh, again, you can find me on the shop. It is pineappleyarn.com. The update will take place Friday, August 28th at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. A couple of items I wanted to touch on this week. Um, I did relist my vitamin C advent calendar for 2020. I will be listing a few pre-order spots at a time to ensure that I have enough yarn to uh, make the calendar for you. So if you're interested, pop over to the website and check that out. It's such a fun seasonal treat and it is going to be beautiful this year. Also, check out my clubs if you haven't already. The September pre-orders are almost finished. We are nearly to September. So if you haven't pre-ordered zeros yet, check it out on the website. Um, I have three clubs for September, including my Low Country Club's final installment. So check those out if you haven't. They're so fun. I know y'all who are subscribed love those, and they're so much fun. As always, I will be sending out a newsletter very soon, highlighting all of these things. I send out a newsletter um, twice a month, and so it's very infrequent, but it's full of lovely photos and things that I am up to, and of course, all the yarn. <laughs> so if you're interested, again, you can head over to my website, pineappleyarn.com, and you can subscribe in the top bar right on the site. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you'll join me again for the shop update, which will be at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. Until the next shop update, happy crafting, and I'll see you next time. Bye.